guys, today I'm going to teach you 16 very weird French terms and I'm going to explain them to you as well. Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Baltier Academy. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Ou abracadabra branquesque. Huh? Abracadabrantesque. Say what? That's actually an incantation for magic trick. So if you're gonna like play some type of magic trick in French, then you'd say abracadabra. Et voilà. Ça coûte 90 balles quand même. Balles? Hmm. Balles? If you're looking at the dictionary and saying, isn't bal for bullets or for balls? And True. you're using it to refer to the cost of something. Well, actually, bal can mean bucks, such as, for instance, you're saying, instead of saying 50 bucks, you could say 50 bal for like 50 euro. And that's one that you definitely want to learn. Non, mais ta chambre, elle est trop clean. Clean? 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 What? Wait, is that an anglicism? Yes, it is. You're correct. We actually use clean in French as part of slang. If you're wanting to learn the most used slang in French, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video next. Clean is one of them, where when we say clean, obviously you have to pronounce it the French way. Well, it also can mean clean. Flané, flané, hmm. When you think of Parisians strolling the streets of Paris, well, that's exactly what they're doing, is often flané can be used to say that you're going to you're walking around, but you're not really going to a particular destination. You might be window shopping, faire du lèche vitrine. That's a little bonus one for you. Faire du lèche vitrine, window shopping, or particular, possibly you're just kind of strolling down the streets, and that's the term flâner. Non, mais ton histoire est dingue. Dingue means crazy. We have quite a lot of terms for crazy, whether it's bizarre, zarbi, fou. But dang is one of those slang ones as well. Tu vois les gens qui traversent la rue? Les gens? Hmm. Les gens ou les personnes. So, yes, gens means people. What is kind of strange is when you look at les gens, it just saying people in general. So it's plural, unlike the English. Non, mais ta gueule. Whoa. Cuss word, uh-oh, is that age appropriate? Not sure here, but we actually use good in two different ways. The non-cuss way, so to speak, just simply means the mouth of an animal. We have a particular term, true, for the mouth of an animal. Dans sa gueule, il y avait une balle, okay? But gueule can also mean a swear word and, and kind of saying like, shut the up, but it doesn't have the same connotation because you can use it in a very joking manner. And if you want to learn more cuss words, you're going to want to watch this video next. So save this next tab or just come back to it. Or you can actually just search in, in YouTube with my name, Rochelle DeMeo, cuss words in French, and you'll find it. What's machin? 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 Pas machine. Looks like machine, but it's machin. Machin simply means un truc. What's a truc? The one word you want to know. This video I did a few weeks ago that was telling you guys what un truc means and how we can often use it in French, even if we don't know all the words. Pretty useful word. So a machin is just saying something, a thing. So what's that thing? That's really what you're saying. Quoi de neuf? Ben, métro, boulot, dodo, quoi. Métro, metro, boulot, work. Another slang for work, not travail. Dodo, sleep. So we use that expression to just kind of mean what your routine is. Hey, I take the metro, I work, I go to bed, that's it. Hey, we have a few more to cover that are actually kind of funny and this, these next few are definitely going to make you sound authentic French. The words that you won't learn in a textbook. Well, actually you could learn it in a textbook. You can learn it in my textbook, so if you're interested, there's Le Français for Everyone 1 and Le Français for Everyone 2 that teach you the French that's actually used yes. from start to finish, from anything you want to learn from vocabulary to grammar. You can order it on Amazon, I'm also linking it below for you. Pardon, un petit prout. Prout. Prout is fart. There's actually another way to say fart, but you're gonna have to learn that by watching the next video. But prout is another way of saying fart. Yes, I know you were dying to learn that word. And yes, it is a verb as well, prouté. Next word up is, hmm, c'est quoi ton fruit préféré? Ah, 
Ah, le pamplemousse. Pamplemousse. Here's a shout out to Aaron, one of my former students when I was teaching middle school and high school back in the day. And his nickname actually was Pamplemousse. Pamplemousse. Pamplemousse is how you say grapefruit. If you're looking at the dictionary, which I'm recommending a dictionary below if you're looking to just have one handy, well, you might say, hmm, I wouldn't think that that would mean grapefruit because it's like pamplemousse. Like, there's something to do with mousse in it. No, it simply means grapefruit. Oh, arrête de râler. Râler means to complain. Now, what's kind of funny is that we actually have another word to say complain, se plaindre, but we use râler a lot because it kind of goes with the culture of French people complaining a lot, finding something to complain about. So we use the verb râler a lot. Poum, je suis, mais rapla-pla. Rapla-pla. Rapla-pla is really to mean like you're just drained. You are exhausted. So we use that, it's like saying literally that if you're thinking of a wheel, it's like saying deflated, so that there's just, you're just done. Non mais j'en ai ras le bol, ras le bol. Ras le bol, another specifically and typical French expression that is used to really mean when you're just fed up. When you're done and you say ras le bol, it means you are so fed up. It's not a cuss word, we use it all the time. Literally, the translation, if you look at it, is like, think of a bowl, and in the bowl, there's water that's about to overflow from the bowl. But it's not like you're overflowing with, like, happiness or something positive. You're just, like, fed up. You're like, huh, it's like that last drop that just made you erupt. We got two more to go. Saper lipopette. Saper lipopette. What? That is just an expression saying kind of like, my word. And you're using it really that way of like an expression of shock. And before I share this last one, make sure you give me a thumbs up because you've learned something out of this video and subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of the next epic French lesson. So the last one that you use is vachement. I mean, c'est vachement grand ici. Vachement, try to substitute it. What could you substitute with? If you took out the word vachement and you substitute it, you would be like saying très, mais c'est très grand ici. Indeed. So vachement is just a slang to mean very. If you look at the word and you know the word vache, cow, you're thinking cowly? No, it's not anything to do with a cow. We just use it to say very. Maybe because a cow is very big? I don't know. Uh -huh. And there's actually another way that you can in slang say very. My son teaches this one. So you're going to want to watch this video next on how you would use the word mega to mean very. A bientôt tout le monde.